Findia. Hello friends and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hello. My name is Anne-Marie or Annie for short. So this video we have some tips to do a nail art design and the nail art design is going to be shell stroke abalone stroke Korean shell. So those kind of nails. It's part of a collab with a bunch of lovely ladies and the links to all the um, Instagram and YouTube links and everything will be listed um, either in the comments or in my description. So please pop over, um, give them a like and a hello and a subscribe. That would mean the absolute world to me. So I've got a load of stuff out and it's going to be dangerous because I have no clue what I'm going to do, what colours I'm going to use. I'm just going to see how it goes and just play it by you. So wish me luck. So it's time for me to stop talking and get on with the nails. So I've already buffed off the shiny surface to the nails. So I'm just going to get some isopropyl alcohol now and give them a good wipe so they are nice. And clean. Oh, can you hear that squeak? That means the nails are free from dust. Right, so I thought I'm going to start out with this Venalisa colour. It is number 732. It's a shimmery, pearly white, as you can see. So I thought it would be a nice base. Um, so I'm probably going to do one nail at a time and, yeah, just see what tickles my fancy. So just a nice thin layer as a background. Um, as you can see, um, the colour is quite sheer. You can build it up or even um, put a white colour underneath it first um, and then that would really make it pop. Um, when you put the white underneath it, it's perfect for Christmas nails. Um, it makes like a snowy effect. So, yeah, so perhaps actually I'm going to do the four of them in this colour. So I'll just speed through these because I'm doing exactly the same thing. And I'm sure you all know how to apply a coat of gel polish. Once they are done, I'm popping them in the lamp for a full 60 seconds. So they've all come out. I am going to give them a quick base coat because I may put some isopropyl alcohol on here to thin out the colour. Maybe do a bit of non-marbling as such, but yes, like a similar effect. And again, popping them in to the lamp for a full 60 second. Right, so these are matte coated, even though it is um, a non-wipe, um, I always like to give it a wipe. Right, so let's get creative and let's go. So I think I'm going to start with... This colour, I start with the darkest first. So I'll just, just thinly putting it on. I don't want a full cover on it. It's going to be one of those trust the process. Just gonna wipe that off. Then into the alcohol. Just gonna disperse that polish a bit so it doesn't have a harsh line. And then pop that one into the lamp. Hi, so this is um voice over and Marie. 
Um, I'm going to repeat this process now on the remaining nails, picking up um, colour, putting it on um, the nail in completely random places, dipping my brush into isopropyl alcohol just to disperse the colours out until I'm happy with the effect. Um, I will layer the colours on top of one another as well uh, until I'm happy. So I'm going to pop some music on and speed through this process for you. voice over me again um all i'm doing now is just taking some iridescent um opal flakes um just popping them onto the nail um as i feel um fit just in random places there is no plan as such and then um for the remaining of the nails i'm just going to alternate between um putting the different colors on dispersing it with um isopropyl alcohol and then adding the flakes so i shall see you in a bit So just going back now, just making sure it is all blended how I want. Add in some more flakes. Thank you. 
So now I need to decide which shell I think it's got to be the purple, hasn't it? I think so. So I'm just getting out some shell and seeing how big a piece I want. And all you've got to do is really easy. You can break them up into smaller pieces. Oh, let's get some this. Just get some like jewelry gem glue, like what you would put your rhinestones and crystals on with. I'm just putting this over the area where I might want some shell. got some pearls I think these would go really nice with it we just put some more there we go so um so I just gave them a quick matte top coat and this is how they are looking matte so now i'm going to take and um, this coat is stick it it's a clear super sticky gel for transfer foils um but it's quite thick and um, so when i transfer the foil onto it i'll have um like a raised border which is what i'm going for um, if you haven't got something like this, you could use like a thick um, jewelry, jewelry even gel um, that I use to put the pearls and the shell on. You could use some builder gel. You just want it um, a little thicker than your normal um, foil gel. And all I am going to do is I'm going to take this one first. And with a small brush, let's pick it up. And I'm just going to do a, yeah, one of those jaggedy outlines around you. Nice and thin. Just got some foil, gold foil, and I'm just gonna, yeah, put the foil. Oh. And because I matte top coated it, the foil is only gonna stick to where I put this stick it gel. So I'm going to do it the same for you. I'm 
and do this one. Pop one on it for a 30 second cure. Using the foil again. There's a little bit of foil there that I don't want. So, what I'm going to do is take some nice purple alcohol on a brush and just wipe it away. Wipe it away. Let's do this one now. And I think we need something here. I might actually put a bit of shell. What do you think? Shell by there or up by there? Up by you. This cream one up. Break him up. I'm just going to take my brush and stick it and do a outline. for a full cure. ta -da! So this is our final set. I am really, really pleased in how they turned out. And actually, I think I might do a set similar on myself. So just want to say a huge thank you to uh, my pal Tracy Badley and um, she chose this week's theme of Arbalone Shell and um, so thank you Tracy I really really enjoyed this challenge and so for now it's bye bye from me Um, huge thank you to everyone for all your continued support I really really like it well no I don't really, really like it. I really, really love it. Thank you so, so much. Um, and always and all, please um, don't forget to hit that like button and make sure you are subscribed to see more videos. Um, I have started sorting things out for a giveaway. So keep your eyes, eyes peeled. I will be having a giveaway on my channel um, very soon. So bye, bye. Just half an hour until I till we meet again. Bye. <laughs>